It's the most important thing. Like, I'm not sure. I'm, I'll just wait for you to ask questions. But like, it's I want I want them wherever they're at. Like, I have no inclination to where they're at right now. Like, I've exhausted like every friend that I know of, and every friend that I have has called friends that Shanann has that maybe I didn't know about. And it's just like there's it's like it's vanished. Like, she's not like when I got home yesterday. It was like a ghost town. Like, she wasn't here. Kids weren't here. I have no idea like where they went, and it doesn't. It's just earth shattering. I don't feel like this is even real right now. It's like a nightmare that I just can't wake up from. Chris, when did you learn that they got there? They weren't here. Like yes, well, I texted her a few times and called her. I didn't get a response, which that was a little off. And then her friend Nicole showed up about a little afternoon. I could see on the doorbell camera, and. I was like, hey, what's going on? She's like, I can't get a hold of Shanann. And that's when I was just like, all right, something's not right. If she's not answering the door, and she said the car was here, it's like, I got to go home. And we got here, got inside, and not, nobody was here. Not nothing. And so I read that Shanann had to take the to school, which was unusual. Yeah, because, like, Bella was going to start kindergarten next next Monday. And they they were just getting ready to start start back again. And so what kind of, so you, your friend Nicole kind of tipped you off at something? Is yeah, because like she was here at, at the front door and that's when I kind of knew, okay, like if she's not answering anybody else either, this, is, this isn't like her because, I mean, she, she works at direct sales business and that's her, that, that's what she does. And for her not to respond to any of her people, that, I mean, if she doesn't respond to me, that's fine. I mean, like she's busy, she's got stuff going on, but not to respond to her people though, that was... That was not like her. Chris, you've got a beautiful family, you know, and I, it looks like you all love each other very much. What went through your mind the minute kind of you're like, something's wrong? Like, I I was trying to get home as fast as I can. I was blowing through stoplights. I was blowing through everything, just trying to get home as fast as I can because none of this made sense. Like, if she wasn't here, like, where did she go? Like, once I got here, it was like, all right, who can I call? Who do I know that she could be with right now if she went to a friend's house? where could she be staying and we went through everybody i mean just everything in my in my contact list and her her friend's contact list and nothing has come up everybody has said like they haven't heard from her either i'm just hoping right now that she's somewhere safe and maybe she's just she's there but right now it's just like if she's vanished like i want her back so bad i want those kids back so bad um, you know, I, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the hard part. Your first thought is, where are they? I want them back. Your second thought is, you know, your, your friends are telling us, and, and, and we kind of hurt me a little on the phone. You're also, your second thought is that you're afraid people think you may have done something. Yeah, I mean, not, not, everybody's going to have their own opinion on, on anything like this. I just want them, people to know that I want my family back. Like, I want them safe. And... I want them here. Like this house is not the same. I mean, I last night was traumatic. Last night was. I I can't really stay in this house again. Like with nobody here, and last night I wanted I, I wanted that knock on the door. I wanted to see that. I wanted to see those kids just run in, run in, just just barrel rush me and just give me a hug and knock me on the ground, but that didn't happen. Who are you gonna stay with tonight? Probably my friends Nick and Amanda. Just I mean. And then something develops in the next next hours or so. Like I'm hoping that somebody sees something or somebody knows something and comes forward. What's the hardest part of all of this for you? Not knowing. Like if they're safe or if they're in trouble. Like there's just that it's that variable like I'm not sure I mean I can't do anything right now from where I'm at. Like I'm not sure if they're safe somewhere, just huddle up somewhere, or if they're in trouble. And knowing that if they could be in trouble, it, it just, it's just earth shattering right now. And it doesn't feel like it's real. The weird part of all of this, it sounds like everything is kind of locked up. There's no signs of them leaving the house. No, really. no like the, we have camera there, neighbor has a camera. We, I mean, everything was, everything's checked out. Do you have a camera in there? A doorbell, only, only right there. The neighbor has one over there. Were all the doors around the house locked? Front door was locked. The garage door was unlocked, but that that's normal for 
like when she comes in the house, she leaves it unlocked just so she can come in and out just in case, you know, they get in the, the garage door, but the back sliding door was locked as well. So how would she have left the house if she did leave the house? Or yeah. anybody? I, I've, I don't want to put anything out there, like just suspecting like if something like somebody pulled in the back and because we have a driveway back there from the new townhomes, but it's, it's so hard to tell. Like there's no cameras in the backyard or anything like that. So it's, it's really hard to even suspect anything right now as far as how she could have left or if someone came and picked her up or if someone took her. Meanwhile, today's reality, you've got cops there, cops here, cops in your house, canine units. It's, I've, I've never seen something like this in my lifetime unless it was on TV or a movie. And this, this doesn't seem real at all. It just seems like I'm, I'm living in a nightmare and I can't get out of it. I just want them home so bad. Um, did you see your kids and your wife whenever, or you had the kids, I forgot. Whenever. Yeah, I had the kids over the weekend. Did you see your wife when she got home? Uh, she got home really late, about 2 a.m. from the airport when she got back from Arizona. Did you wake up and say, you know? No, yeah, I, was, I saw her when she got in, but it was really quick just because it was 2 a.m. in the morning. But I saw the kids in the monitor before I left, and that was it. What, what kind of efforts are happening right now, Chris, to find, to find them? Right now, in Frederick Police Department, they've been, they've been on point. They've, with the officers, detectives, sergeants, K-9 units here, they're getting sents, so hopefully they can pick up something and kind of go in a direction that will actually lead us to where maybe they're at right now. Dan? Um, Shanann went to, where'd you get that shirt? Oh, this is, uh, I think she got it off Amazon, but this is uh, my favorite college sports team. She, was she, wasn't she just there? She was, yeah, just in North Carolina, yep. So she probably, she actually probably got it from there. Usually she gets stuff from Amazon, but she, this one, I like these shirts a lot. You guys, you, you love your girls. Describe your little girls to us and, you know. So this Celeste, she's just a ball of energy. She's called her Rampage, because she's like, she's just always, it's, she's got two speeds, go or she's sleeping. And she's always a troublemaker. She's always the one like jumping off things, you know, just yelling at you and, all kinds of things and Bella she's the more calm cautious mothering type and she's she's more like me she's more calm she's but uh, Celeste has definitely got her mom's personality to where she's always just gung-ho ready to go you guys have a baby on the way mm -hmm. uh, you're about to have a third child mm -hmm. is that kind of going through your mind right now too that's like I, that's why I want everybody back that's why everybody I need everybody back here I need everybody safe I think I'm good.